You ready for this? I Almost am. 700 kilometers. Are you ready for this? I am. Okay. On the border uh, with Germany, here in Poland. And today is that final dash. Just immer gerade Haus. Back to Holland. Making time for the first day. I think this is going to be our high score today. Alright, iron butt mode on. You ready? Okay, let's put up then. <laughs> Switch on. Alright. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> to there. Rondo Solidarnoski. Chi. We're leaving Poland now. Jane Q a Poland for everything. You've been great. No, seriously. Poland has things figured out in a variety of ways. And uh, I highly recommend coming uh, coming down here or up depending on where you are, of course. But goodbye. And welcome wieder in the Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Oh, the couples are uh, good morning. <laughs> Deutschland! <laughs> Wir sind wieder ja! Jetzt geht los! How's it going back there? If I will take this one I didn't do the 200 yet that I wanted to do, but I just got over 500 left. Yeah. It's getting warmer, huh? Yeah. This is actually too warm. Agua, drink it. Should make some tea. Well, yeah, one could have easily been tea. That, that's actually. Yeah, can do I one tea. tea? Yeah. Yeah, we can make tea. You want a fruit tea or you want green tea? Yeah. Duh. No. I don't want BS tea or real tea. But it won't be hydrated. too crazy on the highway you know in Poland they have the same price at the highway pretty much which was impressive and they did that initially in German to, in Germany too because I figured the fuel's not cheaper when Poland's just because Poland's 100 kilometers away where's the fuel station all of a sudden but it's 169 here I don't know what that arrow was doing on the highway yeah that arrow was straight up robbery the audacity to be Three kilometers from this, where you fill up for 170 and then ask for 222. It's just these fuel companies are out of hand, man. But I wonder if it's Arrow. Oh, we just filled up for 169 instead of 222 on the highway. Arrow, Arrow robbery. Uh, yeah, can you go have a look? And bring my, if it's uh, bring back like a medium coffee, cappuccino, yes, sir. and I don't know something to eat if they have it. Hast du etwas gefunden? Danke schön. Ja, ist alles klar, bitte. Das ist wunderbar. Das hast du schön gemacht. So. Wie geht's Ihnen? Danke schön. Ist Cappuccino der große oder nein? Here we go, now we got a profit. 
off a proper traffic jam. Look at the space they're leaving, almost like they're expecting uh, ambulance or emergency service vehicles. Or they have already passed. Now it would be nicer to be on a rural road than have this. This is only good when you take into account, you know, getting somewhere faster. That's what we're doing. But uh, it loses that edge once you're in a traffic jam, of course. Still helps when you're on the motorcycle. Once that temperature dial edges towards the middle, my right leg is so hot in these motorcycle jeans because of the Mago exhaust. Woo. I'm gonna step sideways a bit. Oh yeah, that sucks. It happens so fast. Ass man! Nice! for the last 150 kilometers and then you're reminded why you were on the highway but it'll make good time today it's a little final rural road ride once we get out of the city that is Much nicer now in the countryside. Actually, having to slow down. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, the Baltic ride winding down, people. We've been far up north east to the edge of the European Union. And now we're back to Western Europe. Of course we can to get close, or can we? Oh, does he should? I'm Z. bit of the trip, a little bit of zee before we cross back to uh, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Oh mate, we lost the rest of the chain guard. Big oof. Like I said, that was handmade with a lot blood, sweat and tears. Of that lots of sweat. Hello there. Hi, I'm David. Just as I'm trying to record a uh, trip closing uh, monologue here, a lot of wind all of a sudden. Yeah. So uh, here in, what is it, Bocholt? 10 k's from the Netherlands, 50 from where we uh, need to be. Where we will have uh, finalized this uh, Baltic trip. It started out as a Poland trip, eh? Yeah. Pretty much. And a couple of months later... It's no longer a Poland trip. <laughs> just to uh, drop you off uh, back at home. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Are we gonna make it today? <laughs> You've gone, you've grown a bit weary, right? In, the, in that sense, like you don't know, like, yeah, seeing is believing it. Yeah. Well, aside from the wind behind Atlas. But yeah, as always, all good things come to an end. And uh, this was uh, 
slightly different ride than usual in good company and uh, with other goals than just riding pretty much uh, actually a ride that reflects life a bit more instead of me just banging myself and a motorcycle around so I think I had a pretty cool ride shame that I wasn't able to fully commit to it as I wanted to but then again the whole thing started kind of spontaneous completely unplanned pretty much just how I like it like I said before I have to feel it it was interesting to come from a different angle to have someone along for such a long time it's also good good for a person for a man it's good for the soul to have an experience like that but she is going uh, her way and uh, I'm gonna go my way again and I don't know exactly how that's going to be but uh, I do know that it's going to be a big step again and uh, I think it might be uh, something that might interest people out there but I can't say if that's going to be in a way that a lot of you are used to all right final dash home back to the civilized world you ready for it uh, I don't know yeah <laughs> we can be pretty similar in that uh, in that regard but uh <laughs> yeah well yeah life goes Always on okay. <laughs> she'll be all right let's go hey uh, how about i actually take you home this time we'll see <laughs> let's, try. let's go okay. you ready for this Gelderland and instantly the signs turn into that all familiar blue with white lettering or in the after hook hello everyone thanks for watching and having joined the ride and uh, I'll see you in uh, whatever is next Ciao!